Dozens of protesters with two local anti-police brutality organizations taking to Washington Square today. They're raising their voices after Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall and Police Chief Mike Brown withdrew from meetings with the Community Advocates Group, or CAG for short. ABC 4 is Rosie Wynn joining us now live from downtown Salt Lake City with responses from officials. What are they saying, Rosie? Glenn, Mayor Mendenhall and Chief Brown say they're not trying to withdraw from conversations with the community about police reform, but they're asking members of CAG to instead attend meetings with the city's Commission on Racial Equity and Policing and voice their concerns there. Protesters that I talked to today say that takes away their ability to facilitate and guide these conversations. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Cries and chants from members of Black Lives Matter Utah and Utah Against Police Brutality could be heard from Washington Square Thursday afternoon. Yes, demanding immediate action for police reform. We've seen Mayor Mendenhall like march in the protest last year, but we haven't seen her like at the table with community organizers and activists who are making these demands. In a press conference Wednesday about Salt Lake City's new crime plan, Mayor Mendenhall says they've implemented several plans to work towards police reform, such as considering funding for more social workers, as well as diversity and equity training for officers. We are actually, to the contrary, doing the work of police reform and internal reflection through the community with the Commission on Racial Equity and Policing in a uh, perpetual form here. Community control now! Community control now! But activists say it's not enough and progress needs to happen quicker. Recall Mendenhall! Recall Mendenhall! They say they're upset about how the chief and mayor won't be attending meetings with CAG or the community advocates group anymore. Instead, the chief invited them to join meetings with the city's commission on racial equity in policing. In CAG, community holds the, the, the power of the conversation. Yeah, they facilitate the conversation. We amplify everyone in that in that conversation because like I said, they're police brutality victims and their family members. They deserve to be heard. So to put it simply, these protesters, they want CAG to be the ones to host these meetings. They say that by having to go to the commission to voice their concerns, they lose the ability to take charge of the conversation. Chief Brown says the police department also meets with other groups, such as the Latinx, refugee, and Polynesian community to get a better idea of what the public needs. Reporting live in downtown Salt Lake City, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News.